Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 9, further on trigonometric functions. This chapter is designed for natural science students. So today we focus on applications of trigonometric functions. So after revising this lesson, you are expected to apply sign law. So after Revising this lesson, you are expected to apply sine law and cosine law in solving triangles and apply angle sum and difference formulas for determining trigonometric values for some angles. So let's continue to the lesson. First one is sine law. If we have this triangle, we cite a, B, and C, we can relate this side with, the, with its corresponding angle. Therefore, here, the value of A, this length is divided by the angle corresponding to it, sine A. So, A over sine A must be equal to B divided by the corresponding angle, sine B. B over sine B, this equals to C over sine c. So this it is uh, sine law. So in any triangle, the sides are proportional to the opposite side. Therefore, if, for the, if this angle is bigger, the side opposed to this angle will be also bigger. This is the meaning. So now let's continue to uh, the next part. The laws of cosine. If we have this triangle, triangle ABC with side A, B, and C. To find this length, you can apply this formula. A squared, this A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus twice of these two, BC, cosine of the corresponding angle A, cos A. Or if you are asked B, B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus twice of AC cosine of this angle, angle B, cosine of B. If you are asked to find C, C squared will be equal to A squared plus B squared minus twice of these two sides to AB times cosine of angle C. Uh, so when they include angle, if the include angle is 90 degree, this will be reduced to Pythagoras theorem. If the angle is 90 or they include 90 degree, so the cosine law will uh, be reduced to Pythagorean theorem. So let's continue. Let's see example. Look this one. If triangle ABC is given with side AB is 3 and side BC is 4 and the measure of angle B is given to be 60 degree, then what are the lengths of AC and cosine of angle A is asked. So to solve this, first we need to draw the triangle. So the triangle is given here. It's ABC, side AB is given to be T3, and side BC is 4. Measure of PST is 60 degree. This, this is given. So to find, to find AC, to find AC, to find this side, using uh, cosine law, AC squared is equal to 3 squared, plus 4 squared minus twice of 3 times 4 times cosine of 60 degree. So you have this one using cosine law, AC, side AC squared, or AC is equal to the square root of uh, AB squared plus AB squared plus BC squared minus twice of AB times uh, BC cos 60 degree. You have this one. So substituting the values, you have this. AB is 3, 3 squared, BC is 4, 4 squared minus twice of 3 times 4 times cosine of 60 is this half. When you value this, you get square root of 13. Square root of 13. Okay, now we are also asked to find the cosine of angle A. To find this, cosine of angle A, the cosine of angle A. We are asked to find this one. So we start from this. BC squared is equal to AB squared plus AC squared minus twice of AB times AC cosine of A. 
So using this uh, cosine law, you have this one, bc squared is equal to ab squared plus ac squared minus twice of ab times ac cosine of the include angle a. So this gives us bc is this 4, 4 squared is equal to ab3, it is 3 squared plus ac, we have found ac, this side, ac, we have found ac to be square root of 13 here. So ac squared root 13 squared minus twice of ab3, ac is root 13 cosine of a. So from this, you will have this one. This will be this 6 root 13 cos a. Shifting to the, this side, you have this one. It is 6 root 13 cos a. This equal to 3 squared is 9 uh, plus this one is 13 and taking this to this side you have minus 16. Therefore, cosine of a will be this result becomes 9 minus 9, 9 uh, 13 minus 16 is minus 3 plus 9 is this, uh, 6 therefore uh, 6 over you will have this one 6 over dividing by 6 root 13 6 by 6 cancel, you will have 1 over root 13. You will have 1 over root 13. Uh, rationalizing, you will have the square root of 13 over 13. This is the cosine of the angle, okay? It's not the angle, it's cos A. Okay, now next, you'll have this one. The angle of elevation of the top of a building is found to be 60 degree. Top. From a point on level ground, if the angle of elevation of a point on the building that is 3 meter below, the top is 45 degree as measured from the same point on the ground and you are asked to find the height of the building. So here, this is the level ground. Assume this is this side of the building. So from this point, from this point, the angle of elevation to the top, to the top of the building is, it is 60 degree is given. The angle of elevation of the top of the building is to be found to be 60 degree, okay, to the top. And then, if the angle of elevation of a point on the building, on a point on a building, this assumes it's a building. This is a building. Uh, so, 3 meter below, assume this is 3 meter below this point. So, the angle of elevation to this point is given to it is 45 degree. So you are asked to find the height of this building. That means the whole height. Assume this distance to be x. So we are asked to find 3 plus x. So from this, we have two triangles. The bigger triangle and the smaller triangle. Let's use these two triangles. Uh, using the bigger triangle, tan 60 degree gives you, assume this distance to be y, the distance from this point to this point, from the point to the building to be y. So tan 60 degree, tan 60 degree is equal to, it is x plus 3, this is the whole height of the building, x plus 3 divided by y, x plus 3 divided by y. So you have this one, root 3, tan 60 is root 3, this is equal to this, x plus 3 divided by y. We have one equation here. And tan 45 degree, using the smaller triangle, the smaller right angle triangle, tan 45 degree, it's opposite of adjacent, so tan 45 degree, this is equal to tan 45 opposite x adjacent is y. So it is x over y. Since tan 45 is 1, 1 is equal to x over y 
this shows us x and y are equal. So we have this second equation. So since x and y are equal, we or we can replace y by x here. You can substitute this equation to uh, this assume this second equation in this is the first equation. You can substitute the second equation on the first one and you get this. Uh, the square root of 3 this equal to x plus 3 divided by x because x and y are equal so I can say x so solving this x root 3 this equals to uh, x root 3 is equals to x plus 3 so taking x to this side you get this one x root 3 minus x is equal to 3 factoring x you get this root 3 minus 1 is equal to 3 so x equals to 3 over 3 over root 3 minus 1 uh, so this is the value of x therefore the height of this building is 3 plus x we have found x therefore the height of the building will be this 3 plus 3 plus 3 over 3 over root 3 minus 1 here so uh, the height will be this 3 plus x so 3 plus x is this 3 over root 3 minus 1 you can simplify this uh, by yourself so the height will be this one this much unit or 3 meter so this is much meters the height will be this one okay Okay, now let's see this example 3. Two drivers A and B leave the same place at the same time. If A drives 80 km per hour in the direction of 20 degree north of east and B drives 90 km per hour in the direction of south 80 degree west. So the question is how far uh, apart are they after one and a half hours? So, first, let's calculate the distance they travel after one and a half hour. So, in one and a half hour, A travels the distance of 80, this is the speed, times the time in this one. This is this 3 over 2. When you multiply these two, you get it is 120 kilometer. It moves 120 kilometer. And B travels the distance of, its the speed is, uh, 90 km per hour multiplied by 3 over 2 you get 145 km so now let's draw uh, the direction of these two motions here A drives 80 km per hour in the direction of in this direction A moves in this direction 20 degree north of east so A moves in this direction, the degree measure is this, north of east. So you measure the angle from north to east, from north to east. This angle is this, 20 degree. Okay, again, B drives in which direction? South 80 degree west. So southwest you measure the angle from south part from south to west this degree is how much this 80 degrees so this is the path that driver b moves and then we are asked to find the distance between a and b so we have this triangle and we have this links in one and a half hour b moves 135 uh, so uh, in one and a half hour, A travels uh, 120 km, and in one and a half hour, B travels distance of this 135 km. When you multiply this, you get 135. So, uh, putting this uh, in graph, uh, driver A moves 120 km uh, northeast, therefore. This one is 20 degree from north to east part. So the distance moved is this 120 kilometer. And again, uh, driver B moves 
from source waste, from source part to the waste. Therefore, uh, this is 80 degree and it moves 135 kilometer. So we are asked to find the distance between the distance between uh, A and B. So applying cosine law, we can find D. But first, uh, we need to find this included angle. This one is 80 degree means this angle is, it is 10. And we have 90 degree here. And we have 20 degree here. Therefore, 10 plus 90 is 100 plus 20 is 120 degree. Therefore, here the included angle here is it is uh, 120 degree. Applying cosine law, you will have this answer. D will be 120 squared plus 135 squared minus twice of 120 times 135 times the included angle. Cosine of the included angle is this 120 cos 120. Therefore, this will be, you get this result. And finally, the solution set will be, it is the square root of 48,825. And evaluating this, you get almost 221 kilometer. Okay, now let's continue. Let's see a trigonometric uh, formula for some indifference. Some indifference. Uh, the first one, sine x plus y is given by sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. In the same way, sine x minus y is given by this sine x cos y minus cos x sine y. And for cosine, cos x plus y is given by this cos x cos y minus sine x sine y. And cos x minus y is given by cos x cos y plus sine x sine y. For tangent, tan x plus y is given by this tan x tan y divided by y minus 1 minus tan x tan y. And tan x minus y given by tan x minus tan y divided by 1 plus tan x tan y. These are uh, some formulas for, some indifference formulas for trigonometric uh, functions. So double angle formula and half angle formula. Uh, sine 2x uh, is given by 2 sine x cos x from uh, this sine 2x means it is sine x plus x therefore this equal to this sine x cos x plus sine x cos x sine x cos x so th this gives you 2 sine x cos x uh, and cos 2x is given by this is in similar way you can find this one cos 2x is given by this cos squared x minus sine squared x and tan 2x is also given by this 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. And for half angle formula, you apply this one. Cos of x over 2 is given by this plus or minus 1 plus cos x over 2. For sine, sine of x over 2 is given by this plus or minus 1 minus cos x over 2. Uh, and for tan, uh, for tan x, you can have this one. Tan x over 2 is given by plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cos x uh, over 1 plus cos x. You can find this one by multiplying. If you multiply the numerator by uh, the square root of, let me show you this one here, the square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x. If you multiply this, both numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos x over 1 plus cos x, you will have this one. It is the square root of the numerator becomes 1 minus cos squared x. And the denominator is this 1 plus cos x squared. From square root, this since it is a square, uh, it becomes 1 plus cos x. This 1 minus cos squared x is sine squared x. So it can uh, be taken out from squared, it becomes sine x. So you'll have this one. You can do the same for this one by multiplying uh, both numerator and denominator by 1 minus cos x. 
Okay, so these are the formulas, uh, half and double angle formulas. Uh, now let's try to apply these formulas. So here it says evaluate the following. Sine 75, cos 105, tan 15, sine 22.5 degree. Let's start from this one. To find sine 75, we need to write this 75 at the sum or difference of two uh, special angles. So sine 75 can be written in this form, sine 30 plus 45. So this equal to this, sine 30 cos 45 plus sine 45 cos 30. Therefore, when you evaluate this, sine 30 is 1 over 2, cos 45 root over 2 plus, sine 45 is root over 2 times, cos 30 is this root 3 over 2. So simplifying this, you'll have uh, this one, it is root over 4 plus root 6 over 4. Now, the next example is this one, cos 105. Cos 105 can be written as a sum of two special angles, 45 and 60, so it is written cos 45 plus 60. Therefore, this will be equal to cos 45 cos 60 and minus sine 45 sine 60 using the formula. Cos 60 is, it is half, and cos 45 is root over 2 plus sine 45 is it's root over 2 and sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So this one is not plus, it is minus. Therefore, uh, this is root 2 over 4. This one is minus root 6 over uh, 4. This will be the answer. For tan 15, tan 15 can be written in this form, tan 45 minus 30. So using uh, the formula tan 45 minus tan 30 divided by 1 plus tan 45 tan 30. So this gives you tan 45 is this 1, tan 30, 1 over root 3, divided by 1 plus tan 45 is 1, tan 30 is 1 over root 3, 1 times 1 over root 3 is this 1. So simplifying this, you get uh, root 3 minus 1 over root 3 plus 1. Sine 22.5 degree, in this case, half angle formula, sine 25 degree can be written in this form, sine 45 over 2. Therefore, using half angle formula, sine 45 over 2, this equal to this 1 minus cosine of cos 45 divided by 2. So this equal to this 1 minus cos uh, 45 is this root over 2, or I can say 1 over root 2, they are the same, 1 over root 2 over 2. So this gives you root 2 minus 1 over 2 root 2. Okay, to summarize, to solve triangles, we can use either sine law or cosine law, and maybe trigonometric ratios. And we have also seen uh, these formulas, uh, some indifference identities. Sine x plus or minus y is given by this equation. Sine x cos y plus or minus cos x sine y. And cos x plus or minus y is given by cos x cos y. If it is plus, minus. If it is minus, plus. Sine x sine y. And tan x plus or minus y is also given by this. Tan x plus tan y over 1 minus tan x tan y. Or for minus case, you use the lower one. Tan x minus tan y over 1 plus tan x tan y. So I'll give you exercise for you. Please do exercise 9.6 on page 391. So this is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture, goodbye.